I am Susan Kennedy of Pretty Peaceful, and I'm out here on my front porch today, a beautiful kind of spring-like day here, to show you 12 crochet project ideas for Lion Brand Mandala yarn. I'm holding the gnome colorway here, and Lion Brand Mandala yarn, ever since it came out, I've been such a huge fan. I think I've made over 100 projects with it. <laughs> it's just really lovely to work with. It's a DK weight yarn. 590 yards or 540 meters per 150 grams and it recommends a five millimeter hook and the projects i'm going to show you today use all different hook sizes um, and you can use any of the other kind of dupe yarns like ice yarns baby cakes and any kind of yarn like this for these projects this is the group colorway that i used for a couple of these around here and you can use a bonus bundle this is the satyrs colorway uh, of a bonus bundle and that has twice as much yarn in it you can also use um, Lion Brand Mandala Baby or the Sparkle or Sequin versions uh, for a lot of these projects. So most of them are free patterns um, on Ravelry and some of them I've already made YouTube tutorials for. Uh, you can always go to my website prettypeaceful.com and that has links to click to go to YouTube or Ravelry or to the Etsy shop I run for Kentucky Birth Coalition as a nonprofit. So first up, I want to show you some really um, simple patterns. This one, I haven't even woven the ends in on yet. <laughs> this is the Modern Southwestern Baby Blanket. And this is a one cake uh, project to make a, a small one like this here. This is one cake of Lion Brain Mandal and Liger. And for this one, I used Bernat Super Value for the background, kind of turquoise color. It's a little bit bulkier. It wasn't a great match, honestly. <laughs> And this one is um, Lion Brand Mandala and Thunderbird and Karen Simply Soft in the taupe colorway, the brown. You can see all my ends sticking out there. But just kind of a fun southwestern stripe. It kind of reminds me of a serape. And this pattern is for people that like to cut, cut their cake into the individual colors, which is fun every once in a while. I don't do it all the time. Um, but that's just a fun one. Modern south, south weather, southwestern baby blanket. <laughs> And you can make it as big as you want, any size, really. This one I did make a little bit bigger than the other one. So this one's more kind of an adult throw size. All right, next up is the Spice of Life Striped Clutch. This one I made for I Like Crochet Magazine, which is at ilikecrochet.com. And for this one, I use the Centaur and Griffin colorways. It's moss stitch with a really tiny hook. And that way you don't have to line this pouch. So I use this to carry my jewelry when we travel, like my earrings and necklaces. Um, you can also use it for crochet hooks. It's great for that. <laughs> and you won't lose a little earring out the bottom because it makes this ni nice tight fabric and moss stitch. This is a, um, a key fob, keychain fob from Amazon. And that just gives it a little bit of style and makes it kind of easy to carry. And then, you know, I love a tassel. <laughs> it's got a little double layer tassel on there. So you can find this at ilikecrochet.com. You can also find it on Ravelry. And when you uh, go to ilikecrochet.com, you, you, know, you may get a pop-up ad where you can either subscribe or you can click not now, continue to article. Just a little tip on navigating that website. <laughs> okay, next up we have a certified blue metal uh, ribbon winner at the Kentucky State Fair. Not this exact blanket here. But one of our lovely uh, crochet community members, Julia Spencer, she made a really beautiful version of this blanket. It's called the Transcendence Blanket. And this one I actually used Ice Yarns Baby Cakes DK that my sister had sent me. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> and it's the same as Mandala. It's kind of a cheaper like um, dupe for Mandala. The cakes are slightly smaller, but um, you know, depending on the shipping, they may only be like two or three dollars a cake. So this one's Overlay Mosaic Crochet, the Transcendence Blanket. And I used Karen Simply Soft in Black as my contrast color here. And each yarn, each row is worked in only one yarn and you just trade off the black or the color and the black or the color. And that's a really fun one. You can find that on Ravelry, the Transcendence Blanket. Next up, we have another fun one, <laughs> kind of love it or hate it kind of thing. This is the fringe pillow from my Mountain and Mesa pillow pattern from 2018, I believe. This is one of the first things I made with Mandala. And this is the Centaur colorway here. It's just a little lumbar pillow. And it's really great because you can use up very tiny little scraps of Mandala, like four inch pieces, 
for the fringe on this one. And so you can find this pattern on Ravelry. You can also find a version of it called the Bear's Ears Fringe Pillow in my book, Crochet Southwest Spirit. Um, so if you already have the book, you can just use that Bear's Ears Fringe Pillow pattern. And that's a fun one. <laughs> it's uh, great if you have someone that's really like tactile in your family because it's you can't not pet it and just love it and try to hug it when you have this pillow. <laughs> All right, next up, um, this is the mini cactus garden. And I made several cactus garden patterns here. This is the cactus garden blanket. This is the uh, Chimera and Centaur colorways of Lion Brand Mandala. This is overlay cr mosaic crochet as well. For this one, I used the harpy colorway of Lion Brand Mandala and Karen Simply Soft and Hot Pink as the contrast color and lots of fringe on the side. And the way I use this one is like, um, I like to wear it as a cowl if I'm going out on a really cold day. I knot it in the back and super warm. It's also a great little baby blanket or um, kind of car seat or stroller blanket. So you can find the cactus garden patterns, this mini cactus garden, the cactus garden blanket in three size options, um, and the cactus garden pillows all for free in my Facebook group, Pretty Peaceful People. So if you're not a part of that group, join and join us. And you click the Files tab at the top of the group uh, to get to the free patterns there. There's one more Cactus Garden blanket I want to show you here. This is my Cactus Garden baby blanket. And for this one, I switched it up a little bit and I used the Mandala um, in the colorway Liger as the background color and Bernat Baby Sport in this lavender color as the kind of main color that's popping out for the pattern here. So overlay mosaic crochet, really fun, super addictive. I <laughs> uh, love that. And we did that cactus garden <clears throat> uh, blanket as a crochet along in 2019. So I made step-by-step -step videos uh, for how to work that pattern in overlay mosaic crochet if you're new to mosaic crochet. So next up, I'll show you the Forester hat. This one I made for my son a few years ago. This is the Warlock colorway of Lion Brand Mandala. It's, it's a little tight on me because it's the kid size, <laughs> but this one is moss stitch and with a small hook, similar to the Spice of Life striped clutch. So it makes a thin hat, but it's, it's really great for keeping the wind out when you use such a small hook. So for this pattern and for the, the matching Forester scarf here, also moss stitch, we're using one cake as both the, the main color and the contrast color. So the pattern um, is available on Ravelry and in it, it shows you how to cut the cake apart. Uh, you just make one cut and you use half the cake as main color and half the cake as contrast color. So it's similar uh, to the Lively hat I made recently in my in Moss Stitch, but smaller hook and you're alternating the color every couple of rows. Here's the matching scarf. I don't often make very masculine looking scarves, but uh, even my husband wore this one. So a little bit bigger of a hook there, but uh, matching scarf and that's just a fun one, the Forester hat and scarf. Next up is the Lone Mesa pillow. This one I used Lion Brand Mandala yarn in the Groot colorway here. And Bernat Baby Sport in the Baby Taupe colorway for the background yarn here. And the sides are a little bit different. For this one I put the, the kind of reds and browns in the middle and blues on the outside and kind of reversed it for this side. I made this one for ilikecrochet.com, um, I Like Crochet Magazine, so you can find the pattern there. You can also find the book, uh, pattern in my book, Crochet Southwest Spirit. And uh, the one in the book used worsted weight, but this is kind of the mandala version of it. And one cake is enough to make two pillows, and this pillow and then the kind of smaller lumbar matching pillow that reverses the colors. So let me show you that in the book here. I should um, get bookmarks in here. <laughs> so here's the the worst of weight version. Um, but if you have one cake of Groot, it's enough to make both of these pillows. A little lumbar version where you're using Groot as the background, or Mandala as the background. And one ball of Bernat Baby Sport is enough to make both pillows. Or you can make the, the Lone Mesa tote out of this. Um, squares are the same, the totes just, you know, make that gusset and a little fringe and add straps to turn it into a tote. So the next one here I showed in my Wind River 
tutorial video that I made not too long ago. This is my Wind River pattern. Uh, you can find the Wind River rug pattern on Ravelry, or you can go watch that um, tutorial video I made here on YouTube. So this is a troll colorway, and I used troll for both the main color and the contrast color for this. All single crochet, and this is kind of tapestry crochet where you're carrying both colors. Um, so go check out that video. Um, and this one I used a pretty small hook, I think four millimeters, um, and make to make this kind of baby blanket size here. So that's a fun one. The next one I wanna show you is the Happy Hours blanket. This one I also made a YouTube video for. I made, um, saved up scraps for years and I happen to have a lot of pastel scraps left over. So that gave me the idea to make these cute little hexagons um, for this, i oh, showing you the back of it. <laughs> the Happy Hours blanket. So there's kind of two tutorial videos for this one. The first video goes over the, the full hexagon here and how to join them. And then the second video shows you how to make the little half hexagons here for the edge and then how to do the border. It's this cute little scallop border on the end. You can also find the written pattern for that on Ravelry, so check that one out. Now this pattern here, I don't have a sample in Mandala yarn because I gave it away. <laughs> but this is the little plot of rug from my book. And this is one strand of bulky weight yarn of um, hooked recycled cotton yarn. They're wavy blends. But the first one I made, I used two strands of Lion Brand Mandala and Centaur and a four millimeter hook fun baubles, really fun striping, and you can find that one um, on Ravelry, and it's called Southwest Rug. Um, you can also find that on like ilikecrochet.com, because I made one for them in maybe 2018, it's been a while, um, but I gave that one away. So here's the bulky weight version, so you can either use one strand of bulky weight um, or two strands of DK weight like Line Brand Mandala. And it's a very similar pattern to the Cactus Garden pattern. It's kind of Southwestern diamonds that I love so much. And then finally, <laughs> we have a really fun one cake pattern. And this one I wear maybe more than any other mandala project I've made. This is the laid back lace wrap. And I made a video for this one last summer. It's one cake of line brand mandala. This is the Griffin colorway. And it's all single crochet with the big hook. So it makes this kind of lace pattern, but it's really easy to do. Not as, not as challenging as a lot of lace type patterns. <laughs> and then if you, so that's one cake, you can make this little wrap and if you have a bonus bundle you can make the bigger version more of a blanket wrap this is one um lion brand mandala bonus bundle and i am blanking out on the name <laughs> but if you go to my um my laid back lace wrap video I i'm pretty sure i remembered it then <laughs> so i hope you found some inspiration in these projects and you can go to prettypeaceful.com and find those patterns either on youtube or ravelry uh, links to them and or my Facebook group Pretty Peaceful People. Click the file section. You can find a couple of free patterns in there. And thank you for watching. Happy crocheting.